Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to fix. This is a nice one. Asus VivoBook, check here. Ryzen 7 and AMD graphics. This is a nice one, I told you. So what's the problem with this one? So the customer is saying, uh, the laptop suddenly switch off during the use in the hot weather. No powering on, no charging light. Hmm? So what do you think is the problem? Let's plug a charger and let's find out what it's doing. Okay, so we have our adapter. Let's switch the power supply to 19 volts. Let's plug the charger. And it's doing nothing. So we plug the charger and it's taking no current at all. Nothing. It's like that. It's like I didn't even plug the charger. Nothing. Okay, so uh, let's open the laptop quickly and try to have a look inside. So the back cover is off. Okay, someone probably opened this laptop before. We cannot see any liquid damage. Can you spot any liquid damage here? So this is a nice motherboard. Huh? No. No, I don't think we have liquid damage here. Why that MOSFET is bent? You can see it? So check that. I mean, I'm not seeing right or this is bent. You can see this MOSFET. It's like that. That's strange. Hmm. Let's check the voltage on the on the charger. Yeah, so we plug the we plug the charger. Let's check the voltage. Do you think anyone uh, worked here before? Possible. So check on the screen. We have nineteen point five. Nineteen point five. Okay, the main power rail. The main power rail is zero. Hmm? So let me unplug the charger. I believe, you know, someone uh, play with that MOSFET. Otherwise, I don't understand why the MOSFET is bent. Let me switch the multimeter on the ohm scale. Check on the screen. Zero ohms. So the main power rail has zero ohms. Let's have a look at that MOSFET because it's really looking weird. You know what, probably is like that from the factory because, uh, you know, I can't see flux. So indeed it is bent a little bit. You can see by the space here and by the space here. So, you know, it's angled. Okay, so no one uh, actually play with this MOSFET. So how we can find a fault like this? Well, you know how it is, and I bet you know. If the customer is lucky, we can have a short, shorter capacitor. If the customer is unlucky, and most likely with those MOSFETs, you remember we had this kind of laptop, VivoBook, with shorted MOSFETs, you remember? So if the customer is unlucky, then it's a shorted MOSFET, and then it's a dead CPU. Okay, so uh, let me come with some current, low voltage, yeah, about 0 0.9 volts should be fine, let me grab the thermal camera, good, now how we are uh, using the power supply on the motherboard, very simple, ground, and we have to find a plus on the main power rail, so let's check the voltage. Nothing, because we don't have ground, right? Okay, let's take the ground from the USB port, what do you think? That's a good ground. HDMI? Yeah, maybe the HDMI port. So main power rail, here we have 0.03. Not 0 0.3 actually, and 0 0.2. So here is the main power rail, is the plus, yeah, plus 19. 
is taking two amps, which is too low, so I'll raise the current. Three amps, 3.4, and we can see the voltage is going up. And what is that? Lol. So one second, one second. Actually, I'm pushing current exactly on the broken capacitor. No. Huh? Let's check this capacitor. So this capacitor. Yeah, I was pushing current exactly like exactly on the no i say actually it's not the same capacitor so i was doing it on this yeah it is one second i'm confused because here are a bunch of capacitors what is the it's not the mosfet right it's not the mosfet no it's the capacitor next to the mosfet let's have a look under the microscope Lol, what a lucky customer, I can't believe. So it's, ex no, check that, ah, you can see it, I can't believe. So check that, check that, check that, check that. I mean, you can spot that capacitor is gone. So check that capacitor. It is looking dodgy or not. Hmm? Okay, let's try with alcohol. So we alcohol. Uh, here is ground, here is plus, right? No, here is plus. Check that, uh, check that on the base of the... Yeah, yeah, you can see. So you can see how the alcohol is getting evaporated quickly. Yeah. So this capacitor is gone. Now let's do what we have to do. Hmm? Huh? So what do you think, the laptop is working or not? That's the question. Yeah, let me cool down that area. Of course we're gonna replace the capacitor, of course. But you remember? No capacitor, no shorter capacitor. <laughs> of course, not on this video, maybe on another video. Hmm? Let's switch the power supply to the 19 volts, yeah, 19. Let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger. Check there, check there, like 700 milliamps and I didn't even plug the battery. Let's plug the battery. So now the battery is plugged, yeah. It's taking like over uh, two amps. Three amps. Let me press the power. It is on, it is on. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS and the laptop is working fine. Huh? But you have to understand and I'm pretty sure if you are in this business, you understand how lucky is this customer. I mean, there are so many things that can go wrong on the motherboard and, you know, this laptop can be unfixable. But the customer had like a shorted capacitor. Insane. Crazy. Yeah, the laptop is doing updates, but clearly it's working. You can see it's taking like three amps. It's charging fine. I have the orange light. Yeah. You see the orange light here? Yeah, that thing is charging fine. The fan is spinning, the heat sinking, this heat sink is just a little bit warm. Yeah, everything is fine. So you understand the, the irony here? That capacitor got shorted. Like, there is no MOSFET. 
<laughs> you know, you, if you have a capacitor next to a MOSFET, okay, and you think, okay, that capacitor was working hard, uh, cutting down the switches from the MOSFET. But this capacitor was in the middle of nowhere, having no MOSFET around, which is, you know, it's strange. Remember where was the capacitor? Here. Exactly here. Exactly here. So we have this MOSFET, which has his own capacitor. This MOSFET has his own capacitor. But this MOSFET is not fitted from the factory. But it, it does, they did, did fit the capacitor, which got shorted. Pretty strange uh, fold. Yeah. Everything is working great. I can't believe it. Wow. I wish all my jobs to be like that. I wish. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stop now. I'm, I'm happy I helped this customer. You know, this is not a cheap laptop. This is an expensive one. Uh, I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you like the video, obviously. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.